is Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. Today's workout is gonna be a great bang for your buck. If you're short on time, you wanna burn some body fat, maybe you don't even have any equipment, this workout is for you. So we're gonna do a 30 minute, no equipment, full body hit. All right, I'm gonna give you 10 different exercises. Each are gonna be repeated for 45 seconds with 15 seconds in between, where we'll repeat that circuit for three sets. I'm gonna lead you on a quick warm up. I'll end you with a cool down, but if you wanna to stick to that 30 minute period, jump to the number at the bottom of the screen and I'll see you over there. Are you ready to hit this? Me too. Let's move daily. Okay, just a quick warm up today. Let's start with a squat, reach overhead. I, I do want this workout to be around that 30 minute mark. And uh, so the warm up is just gonna be a few minutes. And then if you don't have time for the cool down, that's fine. But like to keep it close to 30 as we can. Take it wide. Good, stretch open in the chest there. Oh, that is, that is tight from the other day. Push ups always get me right there. Chest press actually chest flies, but that was in the other day's workout, so I'm, I'm feeling it. Okay, let's do some shoulder circles. Tap to the side. Good. This is a great little workout to take if you're switch directions, going on vacation, or you want to go to a park, um, maybe you're at a friend's house or in a hotel room. You can do it because no equipment required, but reach across, it's gonna be hard. Can we pick some hard exercises? So hopefully we'll get your heart rate up. Have you growing fat in no time? All right, back to feet shoulder width apart. Squat, come onto your tippy toes this time just to get those calves stretched out a little bit. Really reach your hips back here. Okay, that's it. Three more. Nice, take it wide. And reach here, open. Halfway. Three, two, and take it to some arm circles. Big stretch back. And switch directions. Three, two, one, cross the body here. And let's just reach overhead right here. Good. Okay, just one more, just a little stretch side to side. Always like to just lengthen through that inner thigh. It seems like it's such a vulnerable section for me that I wanna make sure that it's ready to go as well. A little bit more here, side to side. Now, if you feel like you need a longer warm up, please feel free to put that on repeat and then join in. Otherwise, let's get started. You're gonna start with a blast off push up. I'm gonna use my handles just for my wrist, but if you don't have them, you just do a regular push up. So, plank position to start. Okay, you're gonna blast off in the back, come up, do a push up, modify from the knees. Here we go. Low and push up. So, my feet are at least shoulder width apart here, and of course, over my hands. So, you can do the blast off. Then you can come to your knees and push up to modify, okay? Really reach back on that blast. Okay, sit down into your haunches, push your chest towards the floor. Might as well start off with a bang, hey? Okay, 10 more seconds. All right, let's get up. We're gonna do a squat, reverse lunge, knee drive. So, it looks like this. You're gonna squat, reverse knee, back, squat. I'll call halfway. So, squat, reverse, drive, reverse, squat. Reverse, drive, reverse, squat. You got it? Ooh. 
Ooh, left leg is burning out. All right, one more here and switch sides. Reverse drive, reverse squat. Good. I'm not coming up out of that low squat position. <clears throat> All right, take it down to the ground. V-sit position, legs are out wide. We're gonna come down and drop, and then lift them back up. You can do single leg to modify, or just a simple crunch. Ready? So down, up, down, up. already. You're only halfway. Take a little break if you need. Round through the back. Okay. Going to a Bulgarian split squat hop. If you don't have a surface and you want to do this right from the floor, you're here. Otherwise, you can put a leg up on a surface, okay? I'll call half. Little jump. Very good. That jump doesn't have to be aggressive, but you can also make it aggressive if you want, okay? Up to you. Switch sides. Wow. Whew. Lactic acid. Okay. Wow. In and out, burpee. So, you're gonna go out, in, out, burpee, out, in, out. Here we go. Out, in, out, burpee, out, in, out. quad burn. Anytime we're in bear, activating those quad muscles. We're staying down here for some tricep push-up. A down plank combo. Holy. Whew. No wonder this is called hit. Okay, tricep push-up, then up down plank. I'm gonna do the push up from my knees. So, elbows close to the body, and elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Okay, and work. Here we 
Your elbows should be sweeping your body on a tricep push up. I'm gonna do a candlestick jack. If you can't do candlestick, modify this with your jumping jacks. Otherwise, you're here. Middle one up here. Stand in, out, in, out. Here we go. Up. So I should say, out, in, out, in, and down. Out, in, out, in. Last one on this side, 
right, switch legs, go reverse, drive, reverse, squat. Make sure you reverse lunge at the back there. Okay, not just a step back. Woo! Burn! Nice. Drop that down to the ground for your V sit leg drop. This one was actually hard, wasn't it? Okay, get ready. Up. Okay, lay back and up. So everything's back and everything's up.
Okay. Your candlestick jack or just jumping jacks is next. Ready? Hello. And work. Come up. Little jack jack. Awesome. something over there. Jumping up or on the ground, jumping forward and back. Ready? Work and Sliding. Okay. Oh. Double jump. Single jack. Here we go. Double jump. One, two, jack here. Again. One more round. All right, last round. Are you ready to do it? Let's start with that push up, blast off. Okay, I may have taken too long a break in between. <laughs> it was hard for me to turn that camera back on. Here we go. All right, three, two, back and up. I'm actually filming uh, on Instagram on my stories today how I go about uh, doing a full YouTube video from start to finish. So. I was just telling my audience down there about all the technical things that I am dealing with and working through and anyway, I took longer than I should have and it was hard to rally, but we're here. <laughs> we are here. Hopefully you did take that long of a break. lunge. High knee combo. Shake out those quads. Oh. Okay, get low. And squat. Reverse drive, reverse squat. Sometimes I'll show my clients exercises that have like multi-actions like this. <laughs> oh, you guys are probably as funny as some of them sometimes. It's hard for the brain and the body to be coordinated sometimes. Switch legs, isn't it? Whew. 
Whew. Nice. Oh, mercy. Let's go into that V sit leg drop. My least favorite of this whole circuit. Sorry, I won't be doing this one again anytime <laughs> soon. Me no likey. Okay, here we go. Did you like it? Let me know. Favorite and least favorite in the comments below today, okay? But really, it's less than three minutes of each exercise. So doable, right? after this. One foot behind, on the ground if you need. There we go. Little hop. And that back knee. Little hop or big hop. This is your last round. You can explode off there if you have the energy. Good, switch legs.
Whoa, it's getting hard. Oh, thank God. That was the last. Okay, ooh, candlestick. Okay, I like this one, actually. Candlestick, in that jack, where jack's to modify. Hello. Roll it up. In, out, in, out. Sorry, right, out, in, out, in. You know. get this video out into YouTube community. And if you really liked it, feel free to share on your Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn. I'd appreciate that. All right, join for a stretch if you can. How fun was that? What a great 30 minute workout. Let's go into pigeon here. It's gonna stretch those hip flexors out a bit for me. Wow, no equipment, I love it. And plus there was some strength moves in there though too. It wasn't like just hoppy jumpy cardio. A lot of push-ups that I've done plank. Uh, a lot of core, the little legs with the split squat and your um, reverse lunge squat combo. Switch legs. Great morning bang for your buck. Are any of you doing this first thing in the morning? Yeah, that's great. Such a good way to get that heart rate up, just to move. Hey, I'm gonna link below um, a video and book that I've been watching and reading lately on increasing your lifespan. The book's actually called Lifespan. And um, come here, it's a butterfly. He talks a lot about new, new drugs that are being developed in the scientific world and lots and lots of meta studies have been done in labs so far, but also on some humans um, just talking about different drugs that people use to reverse aging in essence and how we don't see aging as a disease but it actually is. This is what this doctor is saying. Hey, this is all like, I'm just listening. Uh, I don't have many opinions on it yet except for that he does highlight two different ways. Let's go into let hamstring stretch. Things that you can do right today that are accessible to all of us 
uh, to reverse aging signs in the body, to increase cell and mitochondria health. Um, and of course, you know the first one, girl, it's moving daily, right? We know that it increases our telomere length, which is like the, the little plastic piece on the end of a shoelace. That's what's on the end of our DNA. And if people have shortened telomeres, their lifespans are shorter. They've, they've tested that, they've seen that that's true. But cardiovascular exercise specifically, hit exercises like this, increase that telomere length. That's good news. Do it to live longer. And number two, he talks about intermittent fasting quite a bit as well. I love it as a protocol because by and large in society, we eat too much food. We consume too much. Bring your uh, leg behind, stretch that quad. Like back in the day, you know, before in the 1950s, they didn't even have buffets. And now it's like all you can eat. It's really, I, I refuse to go to a buffet like ever. Like sometimes you're at a conference or whatever and there's a buffet and that's fine, but I would never go to an all you can eat buffet restaurant. It would never pay off for me because I don't want to cram that much food down my cake hole because it's not healthy for us. And yet, you know, Vegas offers them in droves in different places around, you know, hotels and restaurants are just come and eat as much as you want. Like when did that ever become a wise concept for us? Oh, never is the answer to that. Um, and so intermittent fasting is a way to, it's a protocol, it's time restricted eating or you're restricting your eating. Even if you didn't want to do like the typical traditional 16 and eight, which is you eat for eight hours or that's your eating window and you fast for 16, which isn't really that difficult because you're sleeping for eight of those hours typically. Um, you could start with like this time restricted eating, which is just maybe don't eat for 12 hours. That's pretty doable. It's, you know, maybe you're just skipping breakfast or maybe you're starting breakfast a little bit later. Um, of course, it's all individual. I would never say to anyone, this is what you have to do because everyone has different confounding factors. So you have to take your own body into consideration, your health, your allergies, your sensitivities, your energy levels, what you do for work, all of that comes into play, right? Um, but in our membership group, we talk about intermittent fasting and a lot of the women there use that as a protocol to consume less in a 24 hour period. And it really does help um, you to do that. And that is fat loss in essence, weight loss, fat loss is to reduce your, you have to have a caloric deficit, right? You have to be um, burning more than you consume in order for weight loss or fat loss to, to occur. So uh, instead of restricting a full food group, if that's too difficult for you, doing something like this intermittent fasting or time restricted eating might be a way to go about that. Anyway, anyway, uh, if you want uh, to know more about that, you know, join our membership. Uh, we talk about that all the time. The girls have lots of information on how to do that. And uh, we do use that as a protocol from time to time for most people. All right. Thanks for joining. As always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. And I'll see you guys in the next workout. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and hit that like button.